What's good, everybody? Today we have a very special unboxing. I have not spoken a word about this airplane on this channel. I never released a video when this plane got announced. I just wasn't motivated to release it. I just didn't do it. I never talked about this plane. It took me so long to actually buy it and unbox it, but it's finally here. Can you guess what it is? Pretty sure what will have happened is the Etihad unboxing video will have hopefully released by now. So, uh, yeah, this is the plane that goes with it. The Pan Am. Boeing 747 by Darren. Uh, I do not remember a time where they did a release on a plane that has not flown for, uh, you know, some years now. <laughs> like, Darren never does retro releases, ever. It's not a thing. Um, and what's funny is that at the time they announced it, I got this board game, uh, for Christmas, which was, like, a really long time ago now. The Pan Am Triumph in the Golden Age of Air Travel board game. Two to four players, ages 12 plus. I recommend it, I guess. It's, it's cool. It's a cool game. So, uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, it, it goes with, uh, this unboxing. But yeah, I'm excited to crack this open. Uh, I'm going to do like a rating, uh, ranking every 747 I have after this video. So uh, we'll see. Looks like this is stickers, which is a bummer for such a cool retro airplane. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. No. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's, let's get it open. Uh, before I open it, here's the box art. It's cool. It's got this, like, Pan Am circle logo that kind of comes onto the box. Just a sky blue background. Karen Worldwide Trading. Pan Am. I mean, that font on the side is sweet looking. It's sick. It's pretty sick. It says it up there, too. Or there. There. The back of the box is also sweet. I really like this circle Pan Am logo. It's pretty, uh pretty menacing and then you've got the plane and it says some other uh stuff below there for ages three and up so uh yeah let's let's get them open here we go all right here's the plane out of the package Get any of these. Sweet. Right, those are gone. And uh, yeah, here's the model. Sorry, just rearrange a bit. Here is the model. Okay, right off the bat, landing gear, tiny bit loose. Come on, Darren. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. But uh, ooh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure other planes are usually this silver on the bottom. It's because it's a white fuselage, but this plane is like full silver. They went full silver, except at the back there. That looks really nice. Uh, yeah, it's stickers, but they did the stickers pretty well, luckily. The engines are full silver. Everything's pretty silver, just to give it, you know, more of that retro look, I think. It's pretty nice. This is 747, you know? We haven't had a 747 release in a while anyway, so it was cool to have this. Um, it's got that Pan Am logo. It's like epic lettering. <laughs> I swear, lettering on airlines just gets better and better, you know. A lot of airlines do it really well. Some airlines are really boring compared to others, but uh, this is not one of those boring ones. And guys, recently I met a Pan Am pilot who flew with Pan Am for 30 he, f he flew for 30 years with pan am for a lot of them i think and then delta but he did fly the pan am boeing 747 for a while um you know he's retired now but uh, it was really nice to meet him and he had some crazy experiences guys he flew with this into vietnam during the vietnam war and the plane would get shot at on the way in like to land like all kinds of crazy stories he he was telling me so uh it was really cool to meet him. You know, I might do an interview with him for the channel one of these days. Maybe next time I see him. But here's the plane. 
it's pretty sweet looking. It kind of, kind of feels like astronaut-y, like NASA-ish. It does. Uh, so the front, you got the cockpit and then some weird, like, thing there, and then the cabin door. Uh, it's only got, like, two windows up there. I don't know if that's, like, an old retro thing or something. And then the cool-looking Pan Am logo. Branch out, silver wings, silver engines. The Pan Am logo stretches, like, half down half the plane, too. Um, and then you come to the back. Silver stabilizers for the 747s. They're pretty much all like that, I think. Actually, the Fly Russia ones are white stabilizers. But, uh... That's besides the point, really. And then it's got the Pan Am Circle logo and the American flag up there. Which is a cool tail. So you guys probably aren't going to see this at my airports, obviously, because it's retired. But, you know, I might do, like, for JFK when it's finally finished. <laughs> I might do a retro update one of these days or something. Maybe have it fly in. Because the pilot I knew, he basically was based in SFO, but he'd fly to JFK and then do flights out of JFK for two weeks and then go back to his home rest for two weeks and do it all again and stuff he literally flew to so many airports all over the world it's crazy but yeah so you know no registration i mean it doesn't really need the registration right because that's not the point of darren releasing this this is just to have a retro nostalgic model for some people i bet there's people that don't collect darren planes that might see this for 10 bucks or whatever and be like oh you know, that's cool. I remember when Pan Am was around. You know, I'm going to pick that up and <clears throat> I'm going to pick that up and display it wherever, you know, whatever. It, it's cool. It's a really nice release. And I think it's interesting. Not something anybody really saw coming, but and it was a rumor at first, I'm pretty sure, too. But once it was, you know, certified to be true, people were pretty psyched with it. And I think it's great for Darren. They're really branching out, you know, releasing new things, putting in new ideas. Um, this and the Etihad together, some cool models, you know. So, yeah, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Pretty cool airplane. I do say so myself. I'm going to go film some more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.